Tonight, we have another follow-up on how your generosity is helping a Florida man recover from a tragic accident. So back in May, Sawyer Bartel dove into a hotel pool and he broke his neck. He's been getting treatment at Craig Hospital ever since, far away from his wife and two daughters. Our Denver 7 gives viewers already stepped up to help once, and now your generosity is helping one again. once again. Here is Denver 7's Gary Broad. For months, the same questions have gone through Sawyer Bartel's mind. You kind of wonder why it's happening and how am I going to handle this and, you know, how am I going to, you know, take care of my family and go back to work? In an instant, this father of two went from vacationing by a pool to paralyzed from the chest down. One quick decision of, you know, how my accident happened kind of changes the rest of your life. Bartel has been receiving treatment at Craig Hospital all summer. It's been a real test. This is a real, I guess you could say a real low point, you know, and since we've been together. His wife, Sarah, staying by his side nearly the entire time, only leaving to go back to Florida to be with their kids. It's been everything having her um, out here with me. But their family has been incomplete for much of their time in Colorado as their little girls, two year old Jenna and eight month old Isla have remained in Florida with family while dad recovers. We got a big long list of things to do and that that part of it's kind of intimidating, but um, most importantly, we're just I'm looking forward to being able to be with my girls again every day and I think that's going to help a lot for the uh, for my mood. Three weeks ago, Sawyer got the visit he needed. Who is that? I definitely teared up a little bit when I saw them, and I was just really happy that Jenna wasn't, was receptive to seeing me. I was really nervous about seeing the girls. I thought, I didn't know if they were going to be afraid of seeing the chair or, um, you know, seeing me with a neck brace on. That same week, with the help of your Denver 7 Gives donations, we were able to help the family take care of their girls. Uh, on behalf of the Denver 7 Gives Fund, uh, our viewers raised $4,000 for you and your husband to take care of the child care. We've had a lot of support from Denver 7. Um, Denver 7. And, <laughs> and we're grateful for especially. that. The girls went back home the day after our story aired, while mom and dad stayed back to continue on with a difficult task but the treatment appears to be working. I'm getting a lot stronger. I'm in physical therapy every day here, and um, I'm getting some, some wrist movement back. Bartel still has no movement in his fingers or below the waist, but he's prepared for the challenge ahead. My mind's definitely just on being able to get home, and you kind of have to stay strong because, um, you know, we have some our girls at home, and we don't really have the option of, you know, crumbling. As he continues to fight, the bills keep fighting back. There's a lot of um, big ticket items that we still need to buy as far as like a um, special bed that I need to sleep in at night. We still have um, transportation as far as like buying a, a wheelchair accessible van. Um, and then your mind kind of goes to paying bill the mortgage and daycare and all of that stuff and how are we going to pay for that. The last one we're able to help with because of our viewers donations to the Denver 7 Gives Fund. We're going to pay for your next three months of mortgages. Oh my, oh my God. Wow. So you can. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to you at home, the family will be going home at the end of August with one less burden to worry about. Yeah, we thank you so much. Denver 7 has been a real blessing and the people of Denver have really, you know, shown us some hospitality and we're thankful for that. So. In Inglewood, I'm Gary Broad. Amazing community. Yeah. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Denver 7. Very cool. You did that. Thank you so much, everybody. And it's never too late to contribute to the Denver 7 Gives General Fund. 100% of your money goes to helping people in need. So to donate, just open the Denver 7 app and click on the Denver 7 Gives app.